Creating the second level is pretty much just a repeat of everything we've done on the first level. It's just remembering to switch to the appropriate drawings. So I'm going to switch to the second level wall layout. Automatically I see the reference of the first level wall layout so I can use that as a guide to create the second level. I'm going to go to insert wall. We'll select the exterior framed 2x6 bearing wall. Click OK. Make sure we have the right reference line exterior. I'm going to snap to the exterior framing line and this time I'm just going to do a rectangular shape so I can use this shortcut here in the secondary toolbar for making a rectangular layout and then snap to the bottom left and then I'll switch to the interior walls and select my 2x4 interior non-bearing wall. Then I'll draw a rough layout with the interior walls in their approximate positions, add the constraints and position the walls to their exact locations, add the doors and windows, then add the components from the components browser such as the tubs, toilets, and closet shelving. Before we add the floor system, we have to remember to switch to the second level deck layout. And then I can go to add floor. Select the default floor. Click OK. We're using the add using walls method. Select an exterior wall then click linked walls and confirm. Next step is to cut the hole in the floor for the stairs. Activate the 2D layout and let's go to the reference drawings menu. First I'm going to turn off the wall layout so I'll go to properties and I'm going to uncheck our wall layout. Go back to reference drawings and select quick load and here we're going to select the first level ceiling layout. So now I can see the hole in the ceiling on the first level and I can use that to locate the hole in the second level deck. So I'm going to select the floor, right click, go to create hole and I'm just going to snap to those two opposite corners and confirm. Hit escape and check it out in 3D. Next step are the floor finishes for each room. Again we'll switch to the 2D. I'm going to turn the wall layout back on so we'll go to references and properties. I can turn off that ceiling layout and turn the wall layout back on. And Now we'll go to floors select another floor. We'll go to the floor finishes and up here let's start with carpet in all the bedrooms. Click OK. We'll switch to the add using points method and we also need to change the locating plane. We want to use horizontal area by bottom plane and set the offset to zero so that the bottom of these floor finishes are sitting directly on the second level floor. And then we'll take some time to click around the room areas to add the floor finishes. Now that the floor finishes are added, I'm going to switch to the second level ceiling layout and go to work on the ceilings. Activate the 2D, add ceiling, use the half inch drywall, add by points. We're going to locate by the top plane with an offset of zero. And then click around the interior finish lines. 